It's Thursday morning, 7 a.m. in Sanilac County. My name is Jim. I've been poisoned, and I need your help. This is actually serious. I got the idea to do this video because I'm about to uh, embark on a career slash hobby as a YouTube personality. I haven't uploaded anything yet, but because that was on my mind, I thought, well, crowdsourcing might be the answer to my dilemma. Uh, after weeks of working really hard and not sleeping much, last Monday, I worked in the woods and experienced something I have experienced at least five previous times, only working on my farm up north in Carsonville, Sanilac County. And that is why I think that somebody up here will know exactly what I'm talking about and have the answer for me. So on Monday, I worked outside and I experienced severe pain in my fingertips. Uh, even though I was wearing gloves, it felt like I had touched barbs uh, or like I was stung in my fingertips and I couldn't even grip with them anymore. I had work I had to do, so I kept working, but um, it was really hard to use my hands. Later on that day... Um, you know, and I checked my hands, I checked my skin, um, I considered Lyme disease because of all the time I spend in the woods, but I had no visible tick bites. I checked um, a bunch of information, and it didn't seem like my symptoms, as varied as Lyme disease symptoms are, matched. Um, so I had these weird hand feeling in my hand, the pain, and if I, if I am incomprehensible, I'm only doing this in one take, and this is my third day of no sleep. So that was Monday. On Tuesday, I um, was starting to get very, very worried because I had not slept the, the night, the Monday night at all because I was in too much pain. Now, where was the pain? The pain, I five times previous, I experienced the pain in my fingertips. So I, I figured out it's a plant. I was poisoned by a plant in Sanilac County. And I had been previously poisoned at least five times because it's a familiar feeling in my hands. But it was much worse this time. Either the poison is wearing me down or uh, perhaps I just got a larger dose. But it's, it was, it, it's in my lower back, my lumbar. Um, it's all in my lower back. And all I can say is imagine you're on a really, really long car ride. We're talking, you know many, many hours a day, multiple days in a row. Or maybe you're on a plane for 14 hours and that feeling you get in your lower back, like you like just like you just need to stretch it out. Well, that's what it feels like, except no matter what I do to stretch it out, it's always there. That feeling that, that's the feeling. Like if you stretched out, it'll go away, but it doesn't go away. It's always there. And on Monday, I finally figured out with uh, the help of uh, a friend of mine who cuts my lawn. He's a local up here. He He's the one who figured out it's probably a plant. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought it has to be a plant. I need your help. And uh, so, so the good news is I tried to make this video yesterday, but I was just in too much pain. I, I couldn't think straight. Um, yesterday was my third day of not sleeping in a row. Uh, Monday... Uh, hardly any sleep. Tuesday, no sleep. Wednesday, no sleep. Thursday, last night, I slept about three hours, which means that the pain is decreasing to the point where my utter exhaustion is uh, keeping my pain at bay. I only wanted this to be like one minute. The point is, can you please, please help me identify this plant? I'm going to pay Facebook, which I hate to do, to promote this video locally in San Lac County and I can only hope and pray that somebody will see it and they'll be like oh wow I work outside in San Lac County all the time and every once in a while I get these weird pains in my hand and sometimes and it's this plant and then I will look up that plant and I'll see a picture of it and I'll be like okay then I'll pay somebody a local a lot of money to uh, eradicate that plant from my land because as it is I've been in so much pain for the last couple days that I'm terrified of working on my own property now. I have no idea what plant poisoned me. 
there's at least five likely possibilities because there's like five weeds that are that are all nasty, ugly, wild that I've never seen before moving out here. One of those plants poisoned me. And my only hope is that being a local, you will figure, or maybe just a plant expert. So I'll put this on my own YouTube feeds. Please, please help me get to the bottom of this. I really need your help. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Or help, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope.